Earlier this week, <clears throat> Governor Scott and I visited the farm of Paul Mazza in Essex Junction. Paul has been farming about 40 years since he was 11 years old. And the farmland that we see here along the river, you can see, has, riven up, has, has risen up so that it covered much of the acreage. The acreage included raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, crops that neighbors and Vermonters from all around look forward to coming to the Mazza farm and self-harvesting. And as Paul said, Paul Mazza said to Governor Scott uh, and to me, the people of Essex and the people of Vermont need my farm and my farm needs the people of Vermont. And a custom in Vermont was for folks with their families to go to the Mazza farm and do their own picking. And he has about 40 acres that are dedicated to those extraordinary crops. They've been destroyed. We walked that farm and saw the devastation. And when the flooded waters rose up above the crops and then receded, it left the residue which makes those crops, it destroys them. He also has almost 300 acres of corn, feed, feed corn, uh, and about 250 acres of that was destroyed as well. And what we understand is about 100,000 acres of forest and cropland has been affected by the flood. About 10,000 of those acres are in direct agricultural activity. Vegetable crops from our small farmers whose work is only paid for at the end of the season when they harvest and sell those crops. Those crops are destroyed. So many of our smaller vegetable farmers who are so important to community life, so important to getting good nutritious food, those crops have been destroyed. And the question is whether those farmers are gonna be able to get back in business and we're gonna to need to be able to help them if that's gonna happen.